Hey guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework today. We are going to install NanoScript's Present Nano Spy System. So first of all, you need to visit their official TBEX website. I'll provide you the link in description. After reaching to the website, you will see multiple tabs are there. Just click on S Pro section. Then here you can find the spy system. Just click on it. Then click on Buy Now. Then log in with your Discord after authorizing your Discord. Continue with your payment, then click on Checkout Basket after completing the payment. The script will be directly received on your Keymaster ID. Here you can see the spy system with Bridge and Lib, so you need to download three of them. So first of all, we download the script and save it to computer. Same goes to other two. Also, you need to download the dependency for the script. Make sure to download it without the dependency. The script won't start, so make sure to download it. I'll provide you the link in description also. Open the file, copy them, and paste it to main server directory. Here you can see we pasted here. Now just click on extract here. Here you can see we extracted three other scripts. First of all, we need to open the bridge here. You can find all type of configuration of frameworks, inventories, and target and notification system. Also, we'll get the progress bar configurations. So after that, to open the Lua here, you can find the every details and every script that are supported with this script. So you don't need to worry about that. Most of the scripts are supported here without any issue. Now just close the file and open your lib folder. Then go to the shared section in function.lua. Here you can find all functions that are registered. Also, you can find the web hooks that can be configured on the script section. So after that, open the spy system script. First of all, you will get two SQL systems. One is the updated blip system. Second is the main SQL file. First of all, we need to install two of them. First of all, open with the Visual Studio Code copy, then open your database, then paste the file, add the new query, and then click hit run. Here you can see the SQL is settled into the database. Now close this file, open the update file, add this field to the database. Also here you can see it's also set to the database. Now close the SQL and close the SQL file. Also after that, open the setup items here. You can find the item, images, and required item for the setup of the script. Open the required item dot text here. You can find all the inventory supported items. Here you can find the QUB core items. Same, go to the aux inventory with the proper imaging path, so you don't have to worry about that. So we are using the aux inventory. We'll just copy the aux inventory, part copy it, and paste it to our aux inventory. Item.lua folder, you can see already pasted the items. So after that, just close the folder, then open your script section here. You can find all the images of the script, just copy it and paste it to your inventory. As we are using the OS inventory, we will go to the web section, then images and paste it out. If you are having any other item, it will automatically replace. Now just close the file and now open the script, open the spy script again. Here you can find config.lua. Open it. First of all, you will have the debug system if you are going to test your script. Also, if you are having any issues with your script, you can enable it for now, but I'll recommend to make it false after that. You can find the camera system, max camera per player, max distance from player. You can directly configure the views also, so you don't need to worry about that. After that, you can find the camera access permissions required special job, to access their cameras. You will get the job like police, sheriff, security, real estate. You can directly select it or make it false to not getting access for the camera. Same goes to the UI section. You can directly set the UI system off based on your server configuration. Also, you can find the microphone systems and what is the consume item on the place. You can directly set it, it's in vent, so you can directly configure the items also. After that, you can find the one-way audio settings, so you don't need to worry about the, you can also hear the target car spy, everything you can hear that from the script. Also, proximity player can hear this by. You can directly enable it. So player can also hear you. You can directly enable this small features based on your server. You can directly find the configuration for the microphone access the same way. Also after that, you can find the audio quality. You can directly configure them. Also, you can hide the call UI based on your server. After that, you can find the camera items and with the props. So you will add, you can add your own prop based on the configurations. After that, you can find the camera controls, default camera controls. 
Also, we get the battery controls. You can also disable the battery if you want because it supports the GPS microphone and camera. So you need to have the batteries for that. After that, you can find the device settings for the specific devices. So after that, you can find the GPS removal kit also. So remove can be through police, sheriff, mechanic, and every has a success rate. You can directly configure them all the failing chances based on this. So after that, you can find the microphone removal access also. You can directly get everything from that. Also, you can directly get the low battery notification. Also, you can disable the notifications. Also, you can directly show the motivation to target. That battery has a battery has gone to your device. You can directly show it or turn it off based on the threshold. Also, you can get the threshold for the battery services. So most of the configuration are pretty preset. So you don't need to change anything for the Sing script. So I'll just suggest if you don't know what you are doing, just avoid this and now close the file and your script is ready to go. Just copy it and paste it to your main server directory with the bridge and lib. As you can see, we already pasted it, so we don't need to paste it again. Now let's hey see guys, how the here you can see I am in game and the nano spy system script is working properly without any issue. So first of all, you need to have some items for testing this script. So first of all, you need their nano spy tablet. After that, you need to have their spy camera, spy GPS system, dot spy microphone, and to find they are having any type of bugs like spy mic, GPS, or camera. You need to have the digit scanner, the digit scanner used by the police officer, so they can use the digi scanner to find this type of bugs. So first of all, you need to use their tablet here. You can find the all terminal details and you can directly see all the camera that you selected in the area. Here you can see it's loading properly with the animation and sound. Here you can see we already planted one camera to show you the network display, how it's work. After that, you can find the radar of the display so you can find the camera details and everything. In the near area, you can find and access any type of detail. So here you can see we are having one camera here. You can directly click this to access that camera. So here you can see every details are there properly. So it supports the battery system. If you are not using the battery system, you can still use their script, but battery system that provide you more flexibility and more uniqueness in your server. So after that, you can find the device control system. If you directly spy any type of device like bugs or any type of thing, you can directly control that here. First of all, I'll show you how you can place the camera. So for that, you need to close the tablet. Now here you can see we are having the spy camera. We can directly use that. Here you can see the proper system has came out. Now we can directly add it anywhere in the area. So like in our case, here you can see the model. We can directly place it anywhere. Like we are placing it here. Here you can see it's at the ground. We can directly set it here. Here you can see we place the camera here. So here you can see we place the camera. So just press enter so you can also, you can see the proper current model positions and the rotations and you can find the bindings of the placement of the camera. You can see the G button to disable or enable the camera. Same goes to the WASD button. So move, you can directly move it without any issue. Now let's enter. Here you can see it's there. You can also snap it to ground based on the configuration. For now, we'll open the spy system. Here you can see. We'll just use the camera and you can directly move it from WASD. Here you can see. It's properly working. Now I'll show you the spy microphone system. For that, you need to have their spy microphone. As you can see, I'm having it. Now after that, you can directly place to the any character that you want to place the spy microphone. Just click on here. You can see a proper full-fledged mini games are there. You have to just move your arrow button and find the microphone icon and just do it as you can do and just try to safely exit after finding the microphone icon. Here you can see I exactly existed, and here you can see the item was removed from my inventory and placed into their, into their clothes. Now I'll just move forward. Here you can see I opened my surveillance device, and here you can see the surveillance microphone is now monitoring the audio also. You can just click on Start Monitoring. Here you can see all the details are there. You can find everything at, as for now, I disabled the microphone because of the echo, but you can directly see that. Also here, you can find the live feed of audio. Same goes to the configurations. You can directly configure them. Here you can see everything is audible and properly working. So you don't need to worry about that. 
After that, I'll show you previously, we provided the tech maps and of course the network monitor system. The tech map is mainly for the surveillance on your devices that you are having. As we are having multiple devices installed, here you can see one is our camera and one is our mic. And now we will install the GPS it's installed and also removed from my inventory. Now I'll just open my surveillance device. Here you can see the GPS tracker is live and showing the live coordinates. You can also shut down the GPS tracker or enable it. Here you can find the directly locate on map. It directly mark on my GPS. I'll just move a little bit forward to show you the marker on my map. Here you can see we moved enough. Now I'll just click on the tracking device. And now I can go to the locate on map and just selected it. I'll just turn it off. And here you can see GPS was marked in proper way. And you can see it's sending the live feed. So you don't need to worry about that. And everything is working properly without any issue. And for that, how we, how PD will react on that, or I'll show you, I am having the LSPD job. And also you are having the DG scanner for the police. Police can directly use that to find the active radio or radioactive signals. So I'll show you that directly. For that, I'll just go a little bit closer to this. You can directly find any type of bugs like cameras or microphone or any type of tracker also. So for that, I'll just open it. Here you can see proper beep sound are coming. Here you can find the remote surveillance system. Here you can see it started removing the camera and the mic and it's removed. Now there is a vehicle bug. I also removed that. Here you can see, just click on here and it's removed and also added into my inventory. Everything is working properly without any issue. So every script is working properly. Now let's see my console, what they are showing at that moment. Here you can see, I now only have the spy cameras on YouTube and everything is now started off so you can configure anything. Also, you can configure the battery so you can place it without any issues. And that's it guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.